The life and legacy of Hazrat Zainab bint Muhammad, Allah be pleased with her. The early dawn in Mecca was often a time of tranquility, a brief moment of peace before the day's chaos. In the heart of this ancient city, the household of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Khadijah bint Kuwailid bustled with life. Among their children, Zainab bint Muhammad, Allah be pleased with her, the eldest daughter, stood out with her serene beauty, gentle disposition, and an unwavering strength that would later become her defining trait. Born into a family that would become the cornerstone of the Islamic faith, Zainab's early years were filled with love, warmth, and the nurturing guidance of her parents. From a young age, Zainab, Allah be pleased with her, exhibited a unique blend of intelligence, kindness, and spirituality. Growing up under the watchful eyes of her parents, she imbibed the values of integrity, compassion, and faith. Her life took a significant turn when she caught the eye of Abu al-As ibn al-Rabi, a noble young man from a respected family in Mecca. Their union was blessed with love and mutual respect, and they were soon blessed with two children, a son named Ali and a daughter named Umama. Life in Mecca was relatively peaceful for Zainab, Allah be pleased with her, and her family until her father, Muhammad, peace be upon him, received the first revelation from Allah, marking the beginning of his prophethood. As Muhammad, peace be upon him, began to preach the message of Islam, he faced immense opposition from the Quraysh tribe. This period was challenging for Zainab, Allah be pleased with her, as her loyalty was divided between her father's new mission and her husband, who initially did not accept Islam. Despite the increasing tension, Zainab, Allah be pleased with her, remained steadfast in her support for her father. Her faith in Islam was unshakable, and she endured the social ostracism and economic boycott imposed on her family with patience and grace. The trials only strengthened her resolve and deepened her faith. The true test of Zainab's strength came during the migration to Medina, known as the Hijra. Although her father and many of his followers had already migrated, Zainab, Allah be pleased with her, remained in Mecca with her husband. The separation from her beloved father and the new Muslim community was painful, but Zainab, Allah be pleased with her, remained hopeful and prayerful, trusting in Allah's plan. The Battle of Badr in 624 CE brought another turning point in Zainab's life. Her husband, Abu al-As, was captured by the Muslims during the battle. Despite the conflict, Zainab's love and loyalty to her husband did not waver. She sent a necklace given to her by her mother Khadija to ransom Abu al-As. When Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, saw the necklace, he was deeply moved by the memory of his beloved wife Khadija and agreed to release Abu al-As on the condition that he allow Zainab, Allah be pleased with her, to join the Muslims in Medina. Zainab's journey to Medina was fraught with danger. As she prepared to leave Mecca, she was attacked by members of the Quraysh, causing her to fall from her camel and suffer a miscarriage. Despite this traumatic event, Zainab's courage did not falter. She eventually reached Medina, where she was reunited with her father and the Muslim community. In Medina, Zainab, Allah be pleased with her, found solace and support among the Muslims. Her faith and resilience inspired many, and she continued to play a significant role in the community. Her trials and unwavering devotion became a source of strength for other women who faced similar challenges. Zainab's life in Medina was marked by her deepening spirituality and commitment to Islam. She actively participated in the community, supporting the Prophet's mission and providing guidance and comfort to those in need. Her home became a place of solace and wisdom, reflecting her compassionate and nurturing nature. Abu Alas's eventual conversion to Islam in 630 CE was a joyous event for Zainab. Allah be pleased with her. Their reunion was a testament to the power of faith and love. They continued their life together, now united in their belief and devotion to Islam. 
However, their happiness was short-lived. In 631 CE, Zainab, Allah be pleased with her, fell ill and never fully recovered from the injuries she sustained during her journey from Mecca to Medina. Her health deteriorated, and she passed away later that year, leaving behind a legacy of unwavering faith, resilience, and devotion. Zainab's death was a profound loss for the Muslim community. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was deeply grieved by the loss of his beloved daughter. Her burial was marked by his personal involvement, and his tears spoke volumes of his love and sorrow. Zainab's legacy, however, lived on through her children and the countless lives she touched. Her daughter, Umama, carried forward her mother's legacy of faith and piety. Umama was known for her devoutness and became a beloved figure in the Muslim community. Zainab's story of endurance and strength continued to inspire generations of Muslims. Her life exemplified the virtues of patience, loyalty, and faith, qualities that remain highly regarded in Islam. Zainab bint Muhammad's life is a poignant narrative of love, uh, sacrifice, and unwavering faith. Her journey from Mecca, her trials, and her steadiness in the fate of adversity serve as a powerful testament to her character. Her legacy resonate within the Muslim community, reminding believers of the importance of faith, resilience, and the enduring power of love and family. In her story, Muslims find inspiration to uphold their values, face challenges with grace, and remain steadfast in their faith. The memory of Zini Be'ila be pleased with her as a beacon of hope and strength, a legacy that will continue to be and inspire for generations to come.